Hi, everyone. In this video, we will take you through how to get started using Exposure. In this demonstration, we will use it as a standalone application for your entire workflow. It's also possible to use Exposure as a creative editing plugin for Photoshop or Lightroom. There are videos on our website that show you how to get started with those programs. Copying images from a camera card is usually where you begin processing. We will start there and then use Exposure's organizing features to pick the very best images. Then we will use Exposure's creative tools to edit our selections. When a camera card is placed in a card reader, Exposure will recognize it and open the copy images from card dialog. Notice the numbered sections along the top of the panel. In step one, you select where the images you want to copy are located. In step two, you review and select which images to copy. And in step three, you set where you want the images to be saved and specify file handling options. Once complete, press OK. To learn more, watch our copying photos from a camera card video. You'll find it in the tutorials area of our website. The Exposure's workspaces make switching between editing and organizing tasks simple. Click the button on the bottom right to view the workspaces menu. In the list, select Culling. This will arrange the docs and panels in Exposure for photo culling so you can focus on that task. On the left, in the Folders panel, you can navigate to folders on your computer. Exposure does not use a catalog, so these folders use the same organization as your hard drive. Select a folder to view its contents. If you have a lot of images, it's useful to categorize them. Exposure has a number of tools to help you keep organized. There are star ratings, color labels, and flags. You can use Exposure's keyboard shortcuts to categorize. Exposure provides customizable keyboard shortcuts for editing and organizing tasks, which greatly speed up your work. Exposure also has advanced categorization features like keywords, collections, and smart collections. Visit our website for tutorials about those and other organizing features. Once you have categorized your images, you can set filters to change which images you see. For example, you can show all images that have four or more stars. Clear the filter by pressing Command-O or Control-O on Windows, and then filter by color label or by flag. You can also sort your images in many different ways, such as by camera model, or star rating. If you don't see the images you're looking for, Exposure's metadata search makes it easy to find. You can search by camera, lens, shutter speed, ISO, and many other criteria. To edit an image, double-click it to switch to a single image view. Click the Workspace button and select Editing to show only panels needed for that task. Images in the same folder are available in the film strip view in the bottom dock. Click to select another image or use the arrow keys to move through them in sequence. The Presets panel on the left dock is where you find Exposure's library of creative looks. The presets are organized into folders. You'll find color and black and white films, focus effects, faded films, and more. For portraits, the Color Films Print Low Contrast category is a great option. There are a number of subtle color effects in this category that will work great on portraits because they make skin look smooth and healthy. The small thumbnail images in the panel show what the effect looks like on the photo. When the cursor is over each thumbnail, the large preview image in the center updates so you can see the effect at full size. Once you find a look you like, click to select it. With a preset selected, refine the effect with the sliders on the editing panels. Start with the basic panel, which has controls for fundamental adjustments like exposure and saturation. 
At the top of the panel are the automatic enhancements. Click Auto to apply intelligent adjustments. Use the Menu button to select which auto enhancements to apply. Compare the edits with the original image with the backslash key. Exposure features a masking tool and a spot heal tool, so you can quickly retouch your photos. Exposure also has fast, non-destructive layering, enabling you to blend multiple presets, edits, layers, LUTs, and special effects all together. Exposure's histogram helps you avoid clipping in the shadows and highlights. You can make adjustments directly on the histogram to edit your image. You can drag as well as reset shadows, exposure, and highlights. Exposure's presets are great for achieving more dramatic effects too. There is a wide selection of black and white film emulation presets. Simply hover over options and select the one that you like the most. When looking for a preset, look for one that enhances detail in areas of the image that draws your eye in, such as the sky and the foreground grass. If the preset is too strong, turn it down by adjusting the overall intensity slider. This controls how all of the effects are blended with the original image. For black and white images, exposure can adjust the overall blend on either a black and white or color base image. To undo an edit or to see a record of all your creative adjustments, expand the history panel. You can see the exact values for each adjustment made to the image. Hover over each entry to see what the image looked like at that point in time. You can click a history entry to roll back to that state. When you're finished editing an image, your edits are remembered, so there is no need to save. If you quit and come back, everything will be just as you left it. You can export your image to use with other applications, which is useful for preparing to send to a print service or sharing online. Exposure gives you many different options, including image size, file type, and file name. You can easily print photos directly from Exposure. The Exposure Organizing Printing video demonstrates how to use the features like integrated watermarks and printing grids of photos as contact sheets. That concludes our lesson in getting started with Exposure. Thanks for watching. For more information about Exposure or to download the free trial, visit our website, exposure.software. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for the latest updates about our new video content.